Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentor slash IT University. And as part of building data warehouse using Hadoop ecosystem, we have seen several things uh, starting from uh, uh, creating the databases, data modeling, data integration or ETL frameworks. And as part of that process, we have seen high event scoop in detail uh, so far and we will be seeing other technologies also. But at this time, I am actually talking about performance tuning strategies. And so far, I have covered uh, the important parameters uh, like speed size, number of reducers to tune the performance, and also I have covered compression. And as part of this video, I will cover a few more partitioning strategies which are important. Let me open the presentation. So in this video, I will try to cover partitioning, map set join and order versus sort. I will not get into too many details and I will not be demonstrating here because those things are already covered elsewhere. I'm just trying to consolidate the partitioning strategies which you need to keep in mind. So the first thing which you need to understand when it comes to partitioning is that pro proper partitioning is key. What is proper partitioning? So when you try to partition the data, you need to be aware of too much partitioning or too little partitioning. It all depends upon your reporting requirements and the amount of partitioning you are trying to do. For example, if you take uh, 10 GB data set or 10 GB table, table of size 10 GB for a span of three years or a span of three years, for each year you will have 3.33 GB. For simplicity sake, let's say you have three GB worth of data for each year. And if you do yearly partitioning, each partition and uh, uh, as you are uh, already, you should be already familiar by now when you create a table with the partitioning, it will, nothing, uh, it will create a directory with a, uh, with a name and uh, that directory will be the location for, uh, for the underlying partition. So in a three, uh, for a three year table which is partitioned by year, there will be three directories and under each directory you will uh, uh, you can have files up to the maximum size of the 3 gb in this case uh, because uh, our uh, that overall data is uh, approximately 10 gb and uh, for each year you will have 3 gb worth of data so now if the reporting requirement or if your etl requirement is to uh, is to process uh, or is to generate reports for daily basis, which means you have to have a thousand uh, reports for each day and uh, it, you might have to run thousand different queries in some cases. And what will happen is if, uh, if you run thousand different queries and if you try to uh, run these queries against the data set which is partitioned by date, uh, sorry, which is partitioned by year, what will happen is each, each query will be touching one year worth of data just to generate one day worth of report. So it is actually trying to process 364 days worth of data just to discard them and it is doing thousand times. So the performance will be pretty bad and it will take very long time to process uh, all the data for over 1000 reports. So the, it is the classic case of too little partitioning. So if, whenever reporting requirement is uh, daily and if you are partitioning by year, then you will be unnecessarily processing tons of data. And then the second thing which you need to keep in mind is too little partitioning. So even though in this case you have uh, 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 daily report requirement if you try to partition on daily basis because for year it you have three uh, three gb worth of uh, data set per month it will be around 128 mb or not 128 mb 256 mb and for each day there will be 10 mb worth of data and you will be having one directory for each 10 mb data set which means you can end up with too many small files issue which can have adverse impacts on your cluster um, both from MapReduce perspective as well as, as well as HDFS perspective. So even though you have daily reporting requirement, 
partitioning on daily basis is not a good idea so how should you partition you need to get the uh, you need to strike the right balance between too much partitioning and too little partitioning and in your case it, it might be good idea to partition weekly basis or monthly basis rather than daily or yearly so if you go with uh, weekly basis uh, your uh, file size or your directory size for each week will be approximately 70 mb which is not bad if it is monthly it will be approximately 256 mb which is also not bad so you have to think uh, about too little and too too much partitioning and based upon that you have to determine your partitioning strategy and the second thing which you need to keep in mind is uh, you need to consider redundancy uh, for for your tables in uh, uh, hadoop or hive for example uh, if you have a fact table and if you want to report in multiple dimensions one is date and the other one is category in our uh, traditional rdv mss you will have one fact table Uh, partitioned by one of the dimension and then indexed by other dimension and you can get both the reports pretty effectively without uh, doing full table scan uh, for both the cases and it can be much much faster but uh, here in hive or hadoop uh, even though it supports indexes indexes are not as flexible or as sophisticated as relational databases so to overcome that probably you might have to consider redundancy as a strategy to have two copies of the same data set partitioning using di- different uh, partition strategies which can address the uh, uh, performance issue quite significantly and then now if you talk about multiple tables and if uh, um, and if there are few larger tables which needs to be joined on same partitioning key uh, or same key it is better to partition on the same key for for uh, all the larger tables so that uh, partition pruning can happen when you actually do the joins between these large tables so this is uh, these are the things which you need to keep in mind from per- performance perspective when it comes to partitioning your data set in hadoop or hive and then map set join i have covered uh, elsewhere uh, so they, it has two important parameters one is high auto convert join it is by default true so in most of the uh, distributions i think plain vanilla hive uh, from apache distribution is uh, still false if it is false it will never use map set join if it is true as long as one of the tables is smaller than uh, this uh, hive map join small table file size uh, parameter it will use the map set join otherwise it will use the reduce set join uh, as stated here it is not guaranteed if the small table size is bigger than it uses the uh, bigger then it uses reduce set join and then uh, third one is order versus sort uh, i have covered uh, quite extensively as part of the earlier videos when i talk about hive query language so when you tr- want to do global sorting you typically use order by and if you if you are happy with the sorting within a uh, uh, within a distribution key you can use sort by and you can uh, you can recollect from my uh, high ql videos uh, to get more details about order by versus sort by so i will not be getting into too many details and also i will not be uh, demonstrating uh, about this thing here and then finally very important uh, thing is query writing so you have to write query queries uh, understanding the intricacies of hive you you cannot just copy from a relational database and run in hive and expect it will perform you have to design it properly you have to write queries uh, understanding the um, uh, understanding the features as well as the limitations of hive and based upon that you should start writing queries uh, one of the strategy to, in writing queries is filter as much as possible as early as possible it is not only with hive when any technology you have to use this strategy you should be able to filter as much as possible as early as possible in the life cycle of your application and then determining the number of uh, uh, determining the order of tables is very important when it comes to hive and then uh, you have to use partition keys if applicable to filter data on all larger tables 
use compression wherever uh, you feel that it it can uh, improve the performance you need to have very good understanding of the parameters like split size uh, reducers um, uh, parameters related to compression parameters related to partition uh, sorry uh, ma uh, map set join etc you need to be aware of those things okay. and also you need to think out of the box uh, it's it's a, it's a, when it comes to hive when it is newly introduced there will not be benchmark against which you can compare whether your queries are performing appropriately or not so you have to spend additional time to understand and mitigate as many issues as possible um, uh, and you you should think out of the box and also do trial and error to to make sure that out of the available options you are using the best option as long as you don't have benchmark if you have benchmark you have to try you till the last minute to get to that benchmark uh, the uh, to get the performance to that benchmark but if you don't have benchmark then you have to understand the intricacies of uh, the technology uh, try different options and try to document which way you should develop your map reduce or hive based uh, applications um, uh, for in this case enterprise data warehouse using hadoop ecosystem so that being said that's it about uh, performance tuning strategies we started with too many small files we discussed about split size we discussed about number of reducers we discussed about compression partitioning map set joining order versus sort and uh, also we discussed about uh, how to write queries properly uh, that being said uh, i hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel um, uh, in the next video probably i will try to focus on uzi and there are quite other things also which i need to focus uh, to give the complete picture of uh, high use scoop um, and also probably i will try to upload some videos about pig in the context of building enterprise data warehouse if you want to use pig it's uh, i will try to uh, run the same queries which i have used hive using pig and so that you you can compare quickly and uh, uh, use whatever technology you want uh, for your use cases slowly we will try to cover all the important uh, technologies and the concepts um, that are re relevant in building enterprise data warehouse within uh, uh, within the hadoop ecosystem that being said i hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel uh, if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide feedback or ask any technical questions with respect to a particular video or with respect to this video please use the comment section of the video if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will see lot more content than just hadoop or big data over time thank you bye